Bears, and thanks for joining me today. Today we are creating this super, super stinking cute alligator card. He is just to die for, especially with his googly eyes. So stinking cute. Love, love, love him. He comes from the new Stampin' Up! Celebration set that you can get free from now through March 31st. Yeah, we love free. It's called See You Later. Get it? See You Later, alligator. <laughs> and a bunch of other really cute stamps in it. But you need it for this card. Oh my gosh. Love, 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 love. All right. Let's get started. Okay, we'll start by making our alligator. I'll be using the perfect pennant die. And there's three triangles, big, middle, little, and we'll be using the middle, which is actually on the end. I have two layers of triangles here for his face. You can get away with one if you choose. I'm actually gonna cut both of them at the same time. So layer them both on top of the die. Sandwich that die between two cutting pads and crank it through your big shot. For his teeth, I used the Tasteful Trim die. Just a piece of Whisper White cardstock over this jagged, and I know there's a special name for that that I just can't think of at the moment. Normally, you'd want extended cutting pads, but we don't actually need the full strip. We, we can get away with just a standard size if that's all that's handy. And crank that, and crank that through your big shot. Another great item you can get free during celebration is the Decorative Dots Impressions folder, which I'll be sticking our triangles for our alligator head in. This is what's gonna give him his texture. Sandwich between two cutting pads and crank through the big shot on tab one of the multi-purpose cutting platform. For his eyes, I'm using the three-quarter inch punch. I forgot to run them through with the triangle, so on him, on this one, I'm going to leave his eyes plain. But on my original, I actually embossed them as well. I think it's cute either way. I'm taking a piece of Whisper White. In case you're new to my YouTube videos, thanks for joining me. Be sure to subscribe so you don't miss out on any. But also know that you can go right to these URLs that either pop up on top or that are in the description of each video and it will bring you to this specific project page. And it has all of the measurements, supplies, products, you can purchase everything online right there. It's really easy. And if you're on YouTube, you can also click right on this video and it'll bring you right to that page. That's the easy button. Now on this white, I'm taking actually Bermuda, I'm taking Bermuda Bay which is a little darker than the pool party I used on the card, and some old olive Stampin' Right marker. Use the brush tip end and color right on the stamp. Alligator and the old olive, the rest of the words in Bermuda Bay, and I'm omitting the alligator in this particular project because we already have him in the punch. Whenever I color on the rubber, I always like to give it a little huff with your breath just to activate any ink that might have dried. And we'll stamp that right in the middle. And then I'm gonna use the corner router punch on both this rectangular word piece and also on the three triangle corners just to round his little head a little bit. Now I've got an old olive ink pad, a Stampin' sponge, and I'm gonna sponge the edges and even lightly over the top to just make this texture pop on our triangles. Also on the, on the eyes. And I'm also gonna do our layers of our card. Now I'm switching over to Pool Party, which is the background panel and I'm going to do the same thing just give that a little dimension by sponging the edge and the next step is for some assembly so snail adhesive is going to attach our main panels again all of these dimensions are on my blog as well as the products and information on celebration one of our triangles is going to go also go down with snail adhesive for the bottom part of his mouth and for the top part of his mouth I'm gonna run snail along the edge of the back. We'll take this teeth, I started down a little hair with his teeth, not the very top. Cut off the extra there and then do the same, start about the same place on the opposite side. So cute, love it! Okay, so I'm using Stampin' Dimensionals to, to attach the top of his head to the bottom of his head, but I'm actually popping up in the middle here three dimensionals on top of each other, a little dimensional sandwich, just to make it open a little bit. Like that. See, <laughs> so cute. And dimensionals on the eyes to put them down, and I'm overlapping them, just overlapping the circles. Dimensionals stick down our words as well. Sadly, I threw away my little baggie that had these eyes on it, so I don't know exactly what size they are. When I measured them, they came up to about three-eighths of an inch. So either half an inch or three-eighths of an inch on the googly eyes. And I'm sticking them right to Stampin' Up's mini glue dots. 
And then right a little towards the bottom of his eyes. So cute. So cute. Ah, I just love him. Don't forget to subscribe not only to my YouTube channel, but also to my blog where you'll get daily Stampin' Up! inspiration projects, tutorials, specials, sales, and hundreds more videos. Thanks for joining me today.